Hey guys, how's it going? Tony here, our Captain Woods, and I was brought, um, my neighbor brought me over his generator, and uh, the last time he used it was three years ago when we had that massive Arctic front through, and he said it just plain quit working. Um, so I said, yeah, bring it on, we'll take a look at it. I didn't know what he had, but he has one of these. I don't know what's wrong with it at all. I see there's a light on. He was messing with it, and he says this control's all frozen up. It don't go no more than that. This is a dual fuel. This does have propane and gas. Uh, he said it ran good. I think it's I think it's four years old. Um, I can't get that light. To, I can't get it to go off. So something's back here, and I don't know. I don't know, the, I maybe pull these screws out, there's four screws it looks like. I'll pull this handle out, I don't know, because it does crank over. Um, I don't know where he stored it, because it definitely looks like, you know what. So, all right, let me start taking this apart, and let's see if I can't figure something out, see if I've got spark. Uh, well, I, I take that back. We do have spark because I used, um, when he was here, starter fluid, I blew it in the carburetor, the air filter area, and she fired and ran. So it is a fuel problem. It's not a spark problem. So I have a feeling it has something to do with this control here, and I do not know how that functions at all. So I'm going to take those four screws out. Let's let that hang down, and I'll bring it back when I get, when I get to that point. Well, I took the side cover off, and guys, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but there is all kinds of rat poop, mouse nesting in here. You can tell they're eating up some of these wires here. That actually kind of looks like it's been eaten open. I don't know what that is. But it's, it's coming out everywhere. I think I'm going to have to, uh, I need to vacuum this all out. All right, on this generator, um, I'm able to get that to function where it kicks the light on, which means it's for fuel, okay? We are getting fuel all the way down to that fuel, to that, uh, where that uh, uh, spark plug is. I've got the fuel unplugged off, so I decided to go ahead and pull the carburetor. Pull the carburetor. Um, you have to pull this fuel cutoff solenoid first. This fuel cutoff solenoid was so mucked up. I'll give you an example one talking about mucked up. Can you guys see the color inside that bowl? Can you see that that line right here? That was full of muck and like sludge in here completely. This was 100% stuck probably about in that position. I believe when power comes on, I think it's supposed to come way out. I can't pull it with one hand, but see, I think it goes way out when power comes on. See how it's, now it's functioning, it is working. I did have the battery hooked up to it and it is doing what it's supposed to do now, but you couldn't even tell, you couldn't even see that brass and that nipple, it was all sludge like what you see. Let me try to get a light in there. You can see a different color. That's crazy. I tried to find all of my uh, carburetor wire brushes I have. I do have a kit, and I haven't messed with carburetors in 25 years, and so I can't find mine. So what I do, what I've done before, is I actually take a piece of wire and just cut it. And make the ends open like what you see right there and I'll spray carb clear and I'll just go in there and clean that all up all right that's the last thing to clean let me show you this the valve oh, where are we at this jet right here can you see daylight in there now guys let me see daylight now Guess what? You couldn't see daylight. It was full of crap. See that? All right. I got this cleaned up. 
I have not attempted this one yet. And you should be able to see through those side ports, I think. They are 180. They're half plugged up, I can see it. So I need to go ahead and clean that. That, that center is cleaned up right there. That center's good. But these side ports, all these tiny holes that's on the side, half of them are plugged up. So I'll use my little wire thing I've got. And I'll clean them up. Then I'll run through. You could see, let me bring the carburetor out here. Look at this. Perfect example. You could see how deep muck was inside this thing. Yeah, it was bad. And I told them it may need a carburetor after I'm done, no matter what. It may not even clean out. Because who knows if some of these jets aren't totally plugged up. So, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and spray this down with carb cleaner. I'm going to use my wire I've got here, and I'm going to try to scrub up as much as I can inside here. Get that cleaned up, and then I'll move on to cleaning this out. Then I'll move on to getting this cleaned up. Then I'll put this back together. When I get it put back together again, I'll show you what's going on. Okay, we it, it, it has run. Um, I'm putting it back together. Um, I got the carburetors. Here we go. They are just bolted on with a couple of the, the nuts holding it on now. I'll put this on after. I was just making sure it was going to run first. All right. I've got all my wiring back here going back together again. I'm going to show you this here. Oh, okay. For some reason, oh, these little mice, rats, whatever they were, like the color yellow. Um, well, there's a red one right here too, but this one here was uh, done. This yellow one down here was eaten up. The yelp that ties in the back here that goes around, it's way back here, comes through. That was all ate up. This small little wire back here was all ate up. I've got one more. Hmm. Well, back back in this area right here is ate up. And back down there, there was two wires. Down there, it's ate up. Now, all of these, the wires weren't broken. Just the shell was peeled. So I'm able to clean it up really good. And I'm tape, wrapping them back up with tape. Um, everything else is going back together good. Um, a couple of connectors that were in here, I've taken them off. as like you can see this one. And I actually had a couple of bolts, screws laying around. Um, oh, for this one here. This one, I lost that one. Um, but I had some hanging around that kind of looked like that. Um, everything's good. I noticed that this diode is ate up and I didn't pay attention when it was running because this was hanging down. But I am going to go ahead and put this all back together again. There's a screw. Look at that. I just seen it. I knew something got loose in there when I was working. They're corroded and ate up. Well, they, there's a backup hole right there. So we're going to try to put that back in there again. We hope we can. Um, that is a circuit breaker for one of these switches. So, you see what I'm dealing with. This thing was in bad shape, but it does run. Um, so, I get this all back together again, I'm going to let it run. He said he put in two gallons of fuel on top of the bad stuff. There's a lot of fuel in here. I don't, um, I'll leave it up to him if he wants to dump and get rid of it or just burn it off, whatever he wants to do. But he's going to have to do something with it. Um, let me go ahead and fix that back there. And we, that I have to go down here and wire strap up and repair the wiring, get that tucked up out of the way before I can put that in here. So, okay, that's the quick update. All right, guys, I'm going to use this video. I'll pause it and I'll talk to you on top of this what had happened, um, so you know what, what I'm talking about. The, over here, this, if you remember in the last video, that connector broke. And I said I might be able to screw everything into that small hole. Well, these connectors were too big for it to fit against here, so we had to get a new breaker for it. Well, um, he, uh, he said, how quick can we get it? And I told him I wasn't sure, so I gave him the model number. He got me a breaker fast. He wanted the generator back quick because of the big ice storms we're having in. So he brought it over to me. 
I, he asked, when can I get it back? And I told him, I can do it ASAP. I didn't think nothing about recording. I wanted to get this thing back together again. So he got me a new breaker. I installed the breaker. I cleaned up these terminal ends on both of these right here. I put in new screws in here. And I told him that this breaker back here, which is a duplicate of this, he should get one of them in stock also because it looks like it's going to do the same thing, break off. So we got it running. Um, uh, I did not drain the fuel out of it. I had no way of getting rid of basically maybe two and a half to three gallons of fuel. Um, so I just fired up and it ran for about two hours here. And then um, he said, he asked me if I can deliver it back to his house. And we had the storms coming that neck, that night, I believe, of ice. And he wanted it there in case we lost power. So I just basically loaded on my tractor. I brought it back to him, and I heard it running almost all night long over there. He's trying to run that crappy fuel out of there. And um, so that's what happened. Uh, unable to really show you how it went, what went on. I apologize. Um, it did work perfect as far as firing it up. Um, I was way over here is the 110 plug-in on the back side of this panel. That worked, but I had no way of plugging into the 30 amp service or the 50 amp service. But he said he did. And he said that when he fires his generator up that day, that he was going to plug in and see if it worked. And uh, I never heard another word again from him. And so I'm assuming that all worked because I know he's had a generator running out there to uh, burn up that old fuel. So that's what happened. Sorry about not videotaping, but we got it running and uh, it all worked really good. All right, guys, thanks again for watching the channel. Thanks for supporting me, uh, sharing if you want, and uh, y'all have a great day. Stay warm, stay safe, all right? Hey, and keep up on your generators. Uh, he told me this fuel was only, I think he said, a year, two years old, year old, and it was way older than that, and I told him that too, and he kind of looked at me, and he knew. So get that, keep that fuel changed up. All right, guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.